Hey guys, it's Michael here from FlySight. In this series of videos, we're analyzing a wingsuit flare executed by FlySight user Tomic. Our goal is to get an idea of what he can try in order to improve his flare height. In this video, we're going to look at the drag polar plot for Tomic's flight. This will give us a fingerprint for his wingsuit. Let's get right into it. First, we need to load Tomic's track. Then we'll zoom into the freefall portion of the jump. We'll start just before exit and finish just after the flare. Now we bring up the drag polar plot by going to window drag polar. The first thing you might notice is that the plot looks pretty empty. The problem is that we've included some time where Tomic is standing on the exit. For the drag polar plot, this looks like a wing which is standing perfectly still. A very strange wing indeed. If we aren't sure where the crazy points are coming from, we can always hover in the drag polar plot and look up at the main plot. In this case, we see that the problem points are near exit, so we zoom in to exclude them. The drag polar plot shows the relationship between lift and drag for a wing. The red curve shows what this relationship looks like for an ideal wing. Points around here correspond with a low drag flight mode, with shoulders pointed into the wind. Points around here correspond with a flight mode which gives maximum glide ratio. And points toward the top correspond with high lift, which means slow flight, both horizontally and vertically. We can click and drag in the plot to fit this ideal curve to our real world data. For now, we'll focus on this cluster of points, which look like they might fit the red curve. Later on, we can explore what happens if this curve is a little different. Finally, we also need to determine the maximum lift before the wing stalls. In this case, that's most likely around where Tomic is gaining altitude. If we move the cursor around in the top plot with an eye on the drag polar, we can see that this corresponds to the cluster of points here. We can click without dragging to define the maximum lift, which is indicated with a dashed horizontal line. Let's recap what we've done here. We've taken all of these points, which we gathered on an actual flight, and we've boiled them down to the red curve, which is defined by these three numbers, minimum drag, maximum lift, and maximum glide ratio. These numbers are our fingerprint for Tomic's wingsuit. In the next video, we'll use these numbers to optimize Tomic's flare height. In the meantime, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.